What's up you guys, Zay with Exotic Ed here, coming at you guys with another uh, fishing video. I'm up early, early in the morning. Came to my local uh, spot, man, it's a new spot, it's a little different spot, but it's definitely got some bass in here. Caught a three pounder out of here with my nephew. Uh, just got a couple good fish out of here for sure, so we're out here early morning uh, this time. Last time we went in the evening, we're out here early morning this time, just me by myself. And uh, yeah, we're gonna start off doing a little uh, top water and a little bit of swim baits and whatnot. Just trying different stuff right here, seeing what the fish like, uh, swim baits, jigs, all that good stuff. Uh, and yeah, we're just seeing what you know what the bass are doing here early in the morning. And then afterward, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go brackets, man, salt water, see if we can catch some blue cats, and even try to jump on a couple of gar, man. If we can't, you know, of course we can only take one uh, per person but no size limit for sure. So uh, yeah, man, you guys stay tuned. We're gonna rig up and go and set up and see if we can't catch some bass. You guys stay tuned. Oh. All right, so I don't know if I miss it or not, but I'm using my cork uh, my cork rod with a 202, which is really like a kid's lure, but it's okay. And then I literally just lost my other bucktail. Man, I got, them, I got a couple of old rigs and setups and lures and all kind of stuff from uh, this old school guy. He was basically throwing it all away, and I said, look, man, that's if it's still good, I definitely, you know, will take it for sure. I just lost this other one. It was another one identical to this. Uh, it's white. This is more of a muddier pond. And, uh, yeah, we got a little uh, split shot on there. And, uh, yeah, man, just super lightweight. Going to see if we can't catch some fish off the bottom. Start off on the bottom, and if not, we're going to go top water. And then if we don't hit nothing else, then we're, we're going to uh, go brackish for sure. And uh, this is also a great herping spot. There's trails and whatnot you can go through. So I wouldn't be surprised if we catch uh, some, some reptiles, uh, cotton mouths or, um, or water snakes. But, uh, yeah, so let's get a cast off, and let's see if we can't catch some fish. Just as I suspected, man, uh, I'm getting hung up on the bottom, clearly. So we're gonna switch it up a bit. All right, so I'm aware what really runs out here. Uh, the four or five bass that have been caught out of this water, a uh, nice three pounder and a uh, couple of other half pounders and pounders. Um, I'm aware that they love to hit the top water, uh, especially with those vibrant colors and the muddy waters. But, you know, for the sake of the video, we're just trying out different jigs, different, you know, setups to see what can work and what varies. And, you know, sometimes fish get tired of the same looking thing. So, yeah, that's what we're doing for the sake of this video. This paddle tail swim bait doesn't work out too much. We're going to switch back to top water, see if we can't catch some on, uh, on the top water before we get out of here. And then we're going to head to um, head to the brackish man with some uh, with some dead shrimp, dead frozen shrimp. All right, so it's no surprise that uh, 15, 20 minutes have went by and my swim bait and jig head actually did nothing for me because, I mean, of, of course, with that jig head, it made it go a little bit uh, under and made it hit on that bottom a lot more. Uh, I was hoping that, you know, the, the bass would be on the bottom, but clearly not, or clearly they're not interested in that swim bait. Um, the soft plastic with the jig head, I mean, I, I, I knew that for sure. Uh, like I said, they mainly hit top water out here. That's why we just switched to... Yeah, we were just testing the waters, man, seeing what what will what, what would work and what wouldn't work. But um majority of the bat or well, all the bass that I've caught or me and other people have caught has been right here in this general area off top water lures. So uh, yeah, man, let's see if we can't get a couple before the sun comes fully up all the way. And uh yeah, if not, we're just moved to uh, brackish. All right, so I didn't want to get skunked, but uh unfortunately I did, so I spent more time than I planned on out here at this bum pond. Nah, uh, it's just not hitting, man. Uh, I'm not quite sure why. Maybe they need they need something new to look at, man. By the way, just lost my favorite lure. Spent like 10 minutes trying to get it unstuck. But that's what happens when you cast back. So right now I'm heading back to my truck. Uh, we're gonna go brackish. Unfortunately, no bass. But uh, if I can, if my camera skills are, are good, my editing skills, I'll work the photo of uh, my nephew laying on a three pounder at this same very pond. This Just broke my favorite lure off. At least I know where it's at if I want to go retrieve it. 
But uh, yeah, man, so we're walking to my car right now. Got the live shrimp thawing out. I mean, not live shrimp, uh, frozen shrimp thawing out. So yeah, let's get after it. I just missed them, you guys. A freaking banded water snake. See if I can look. There he goes. A banded water snake. Man, I want to grab him so bad. And here's Gar feeding early, early morning. But look at that banded water snake. Oh man, I want to get to him so bad. I was searching like crazy for cotton mouths and banded water snakes. Like I said, this is a great herping spot. I'm gonna try not to be too loud before I finish fishing over there on the brackish. Um, I'm gonna come over here and see if I can't, if I can't get a hold of a uh, of an alligator gar. You know, switch my rig up. I really hate we just lost that uh, that banded water snake, man. I was gonna risk getting bit for you guys, but he heard me before I seen him. Nothing but bait fish, nothing but schooling fish. I mean, nice, not alligator gar, spotted gar, out here doing their feed thing, just like we caught them the night before, yesterday. Uh, we caught them out here doing their feed thing, trying to catch them, but uh, I figured out a new way to rig up. I got what they want, so hopefully we can catch a gar before we get out here. But let's. Uh, I just want to stop and show you guys that uh, that bandit water snake. Look, he's down there hissing. That's crazy cool. So yeah, we're just gonna get over here to this uh, fishing spot. Whoa, there's a gar right underneath me. But yeah, see if we can't catch some fish over here on the brackish, and uh, if not, we're gonna try to snag some alligator gar. All right, we made it to our location. Fish are out here feeding like crazy. Just ran into a nice old man and his border collie, Hondo. Uh, that was right as the time we seen those uh, that uh, banded water snake. He also noted to me, of course, which I've been new, uh, that there are water moccasins out here also. So steer clear of them. I wouldn't be surprised if we see one this early morning. Uh, man, I wish I could have caught him, man. You guys know I love reptiles. It'd been so awesome to get that on footage. It's early morning, sun's coming up. Big boy rod, 808, heavy action. And we just got a little split shot weight. We may put a bobber on there, but uh, let's see if we can't catch something right quick, man. All right, uh, man, this water looks very promising. They're out here feeding heavily right now, man. My first cast out, I hooked on a cat, but uh, I didn't let them set, uh, so it's all right. Like I said, it's look very promising over here. This is very high grass I'm at. Yeah, the county fairgrounds is not too far, so ain't no telling what they're doing over there. But um, this grass is very high, and seeing that broad banded water snake does not does nothing but makes me stay on my pivot about the high grass I'm stepping in. So, yeah, man, we'll cast out again, man. See if we can't catch some. So, uh, yeah, man, over some, some further discovery, that guy's over there gun dog, I mean, gun training his dog, man. If you guys know how much I love do dogs, you guys know that I would love to freaking be over there with whatever retrievers those are over there, though, whatever pointers are over there, they got their little cap gun, man. That's so freaking awesome. I don't know what dog they're training, but it sounds like they're in good hands for sure to be a good gun dog. I wish I knew what they had going on over there, but, um, Another bite on, man. Didn't let him set the hook. It's very promising, man. We're gonna probably throw a bobber on here pretty soon. And uh, yeah, man, let's keep trying to catch some fish. Man, I'm seeing big, big reds out there jumping. Look at this little old hard head. I mean, not hard head, blue cat. Cool little blue cat. We came out here yesterday and caught one of these. He was actually a keeper. This one's not keeper size. We get one about twice your size, it'll be good eating. Oh, look like I bled him too. Oh, Lord. But that's because he choked it, man. He did choke it. But hard heads are known to be hardy fish. Look how quickly he spurred off. They're known to be real hardy fish. So he should be all right. Man, I'm seeing big old reds, man. Just give me a dang red. Give me a give me a, a, a sheep's head, please. It don't even got to be keeper size, Lord. But already one in the books. All right, folks, I don't know if you can see my bobber out there. I'm running mighty, mighty low on fish. I am about to call somebody out here to get their tail out here with some type of bait. I don't care what it is. It needs to be, have been alive at some point in time because uh, they're they're tearing my bait up and I'm losing it a little bit because it's, it's bad shrimp. Look at that bobber went under. Whoa. 
We got a fish, baby. We got a fish. Another little hard head on my last freaking shrimp. Well, hopefully this top water, uh, this top water lure works, man. Till I get some more bait here. This fish looks so unhealthy. Look at the scars on the top of his head. Let's get a release on him. So a day catching fish, any fish period is a good day fishing, but uh, we're not getting anything we're aiming after, which is our sheep's head or our red drum or red fish. Uh, and I think that's partially due to the fact that all these red drum and uh, these uh, sheep's head are out here feeding on shad. So I'm down to the nitty gritty, like the very last few shrimp I have, they're very tiny. Uh, I'm gonna work with them till I have some more uh, uh, dead bait or you know real bait show up. But uh, after I run out of this last shrimp, uh, I'm gonna work the top water shad, man. See if we can't pull something up for sure. All right, uh, so I'm out of shrimp, but uh, fishermen will always find a way, man. Uh, I seen this gigantic, gigantic cricket. And uh, man, I thought he made good food for my reptile, but you know what? When there's a will, there's a way. I just don't want to put down the live baits. Uh, I just hooked him through the tail. He's completely alive. Uh, let's see if he can actually land us a fish, man. All right, so that cricket was a huge, huge fail. I guess I didn't have him rigged on right. He got snatched up right away by whatever came and got him. And right as I cast it out, you guys, I'm talking about gigantic gar, man. His silhouette was freaking humongous. I wish I could have got that on camera. We got a swim bait up. If that doesn't work, we're going to go to our shad rattle, uh, rattle crank bait. And uh, if that doesn't work, I'm just waiting on my cousin to show up with some uh, some real bait, some shiner shad, man. Man, gigantic freaking gar, man. Let's cast out over there. Perfect third blue cat man i'm tired of catching these cat but you know what we don't have sad we don't have live chat either and it's just about getting to the end of that uh that feeding period man uh it's another little blue cat not a keeper damn looks like he choked it too that thing's deep in there i got my bait back my cousin's behind the camera for sure and uh yeah man a, a day with any fish is better than a day with no fish at all for sure oh look at those spines and look i, I bled them man Damn, man, these, these cats are choking the hell out of this uh this bait. I wish, uh, that's not 12 inches. That's not 12 inches. If, it, if this was 12 inches, man, I'd definitely keep him, man. But uh, he's not 12. I don't, I don't believe he's 12. So that's gonna wrap that footage up, you guys. That was me with my uh, brackish water fishing uh, trip challenge, and uh, that was me enjoying, uh, you know, blue cat fishing, man. No keepers necessarily, uh, but uh, we we enjoyed our, our time out there for sure. Uh, today is actually the start of a new video that you guys will see, you know, probably the week after this video drops, but. Uh, if you guys like videos like this, man, want to see more, man, get in the comment box, man. Let me know. Thumbs up this video, man. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, man. A lot more fishing's coming up. We're actually going to be doing some fishing right now as we, you know, get ready to eat. You know, my dad's slow, slow smoking the brisket right now. We're going to get our grub on and later this evening go out with some live shrimp and, uh, see if we can't catch some fish, man. We're going to also set the crab traps out. You guys will see some more of that, uh. Like I said, on the next video, you got to stay tuned, man. So if you guys like videos like this, man, please drop a thumbs up, man. I love you guys so much. Exotic Ed, I'm out.